be that young rapping dude. Might just trap the jewel. Coming with the thunder, baby. Might just snap it through. I rolled out in the morning light with that hearty bite. All black, I'm the party type. And it's something like I just dress in no way. But my outfit, my ticket shows. See my presence impressive. Got strippers slipping off the toes. I just whip, then I swerve and wish you would. I'm Timmy Turner. Turned her to a carnivore. Now she treat me like a burger. Hey what's up guys, Darkbreaker here and for today's video a pretty exciting match on Shivana with her new skin Super Galaxy. So at the beginning of the video you saw that we managed to climb back into Challenger and this is the promotion match. So I was in the top 20, 330 LP and I had a huge losing streak. I dropped down from 330 LP um, to 140 LP and then in one day we climbed all the way back up to 312, uh, uh, yeah, 312 LP and this is the promotion match back to challenger and let's see how it goes but yeah it can happen um, yeah it can happen to everyone you just have a bad day or you do, you just have bad teammates even i think at the beginning i was playing pretty well but i end up losing and then after a while if you just keep losing and losing you just, your mentality you just get tilted you play worse uh you don't stay positive anymore you have the mindset okay we are going to lose anyways don't even need to try anymore and what I can give you as a, as a tip is basically, if you lose more than three games, just stop play for a few hours, or maybe play on the next day, just so you can reset your mental, have a positive mindset, because in this game, you can always come back no matter what, because it's solo queue. People will troll, they will get overconfident, they're going to give kills, and that's basically your chance to come back. So what was I playing in this road from, yeah, I'm basically the LP elevator from 330, 240 and now, now back to 310. So what did I play exactly? I was playing, I mean, I play most of the times uh, top lane, but I also fill in uh, playing jungle. And in, that, in this case, I usually go for Shivana or you go, I go for Olaf. Maybe for Lee Sin or Wukong, all those strong uh, meter junglers. So if you want to climb and win consistently, then you should practice one or two heroes per role and just master them and then just play them no matter what. Just so you can perfectly play a champion and get a consistent win rate. On my main champions, I have a consistent win rate of 60%. And 60% is pretty good because my total win rate is like 54, which is, um, yeah, I guess decent for challenger. But on my main champions, when I spam only those, I have like 60%. And 60% is super high in challenger. So, and it's only solo queue. So if you have your main champions and you can consistently get a 60% win rate, I guarantee you, you will end up um, yeah, becoming a challenger. But obviously, try not to be a one-trick pony and try to be able to fill in on other champions. So I would recommend you to play on every role, uh, two champions that are top tier in the meter. And there are so many killers you can orientate um, yourself on. Let's let me quickly summarize what I would say for the top lane. Akali, Camille, top lane, Gregors, very good for solo queue. You could go Fiora as well, but she's hard to play. For the mid lane, Corky, Oriana, Aurelion, maybe yeah, Katarina as well. Katarina is so good in the jungle. Uh, Shivana, Wukong, Leeson, Olaf, ADC. Kaiser, Misfortune, Kaiser, Misfortune, Corky, Saya, and support Alistair, Braum, 
Lulu is still decent. What else? Jenna, also good. So if you can play two of those champions for every role, you're Gucci. And if you are, I mean, if your main role is jungle, then you obviously should play three champions at a high level or four champions. Evelyn, I forgot Evelyn. Evelyn jungle, very OP. Evelyn jungle is probably the best solo queue jungler right now, right next to Lee Sin, in my opinion. She's just super strong in solo queue. Anyways, on Shivana, obviously, what you want to do is um, play around objectives and power farm and try to counter gank. Um, if you start a gank yourself, it usually doesn't work out too well because Shivana doesn't have any CC besides her ultimate knockup. So she's really good at counter ganking. I see it's a 4 versus 5. Uh, Darius is top lane and that's why I'm rushing the dragon. We get it, we get it, and nice. And yeah, we have Malphite obviously, that's why I'm starting it. We have a Malphite at the dragon pit already and that's why I immediately try to force it. Insane fight force, we get the dragon and we got three kills. And yeah, Diana got the kill onto Darius as well, so huge team fight for us. 100% kill participation on Shivana right now. And this is a high Grandmaster Challenger Lobby. Because the Misfortune has... Misfortune has 550 LP, so he's pretty high. TG Ted. But see, uh, his account is C, but he is uh, 550 LP. So it doesn't show in the ladder, but he is really high. Hinata, I think he's Grandmaster. Oh yeah, what I like to go now is getting Blade of the Rune King on Shivana. It's really strong on her right now because of the damage buff on the passive. So in combination with the S1, you can proc your pass the passive of Blade of the Rune King super quick. You can stack up your ultimate really quick. So it improves your damage output in general and also uh, the jungle tier speed. Plus you get your ultimate way more often because you can uh, keep stacking super quick. But after that, I would recommend you guys to go full. Oh, maybe I shouldn't go there. Never mind. After that, I would recommend you guys to go full tanky. Because you have Trinity and Blade of the Rune King, which gives you so much damage already. So you can basically go for a full tank build right after. Okay, do I need to smite him? Nope, I don't need to. I'm going to get the Scuttle so I get some HP back. And now we go for the Rift Herald. They have a, they have a ward. Okay, I almost have my ultimate. Just waiting a bit, and he's super low, so we can secure both the kill and the Rift Herald. Still sitting at 100% kill participation. That's your goal as a jungler, to be honest, to be being able to snowball on every part of the map and participating, um, yeah, at every kill. That's actually really important. Okay, got that blue blade of the rune king, and now I'm getting a guardian angel. He gets that kill onto the Darius. Let's see if we can. Yeah, I think he doesn't expect us. We are going to use our glory and jumping over the wall to try to catch him. Actually, sustain is pretty crazy to be honest. But we managed to get him. Let's go. At the same time. Three of my teammates died, I mean two of my teammates died in the mid lane. Trying to clear the wave really quick so we don't lose out on the mid uh, turret. And now, because I had to leave the mid turret, um, 
Yeah. Leave the bot turret for the mid turret. Kaiser managed to get the bot turret, which is really annoying. I don't know what my teammates were doing, but two of them died. Three of them died actually in total. Misfortune died to Darius and the other two died in the mid lane. So they got so much pressure out of this. The okay, Darius is top lane. It's a 5 versus 4 situation again. So we can basically go and try to rush the dragon. We've got that dragon. We don't have ultimate yet. So let's try to get the ultimate really quick. We've got the ultimate now. But we jump in and going to get the double kill. Let's see if we can kill this Kaiser. I'm going to jump right at the moment. I get my third ability up again and in combination with the flash we managed to get a triple kill and the dragon. So we are basically hard carrying super hard. Um, 16 kill participations, 12-0 against Wait, against Wukong, not too bad. Okay, I'm not going to take this because we don't need mana, so I just help him to get it really quick and our blue buff is up as well, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, Scuttle is up, Diana is going to do it, I will just backport, get that Guardian Angel so I won't be able to die in teamfights anymore. Get that BF sword on top and now we are just insanely fed. We have a- wait! 8k! 8k gold leads! 8k gold difference on the enemy jungler. We are absolutely out jungling him. It's a jungle diff. It's a jungle diff, baby. Actually, I have a huge win streak on Shivana right now in Challenger Elo. So she's one of my best champions. I think in Europe, point wise, I'm like top four. But I have way less games than them. They have like... I mean, they have like 1k more points, but they have the triple amount of games. So I would say, if I had way more games, if I had the same amount of games than them, I would be much much higher than them. So, it's pretty hard to get the rank 1 spot, because you just have to be... Uh, yeah, be a one-trick pony, spam that champion 500 games, 800 games, and then you will be top 1. But having having the most points doesn't necessarily mean you are the best player on that champion. It just means, yeah, you play it the most, it's your one-trick pony, but you can play any other champions. And most of the times it's the fact that players that only play one champion, on other champions they are not challenger level, for example. Someone who is a challenger Shivana, one trick pony, is not necessarily a challenger player on other champions, or challenger level. I should say challenger level on other champions. I mean, if you want to climb me, I would actually recommend you to be, to try to be a one trick pony. Not maybe one trick pony, but two champions at least. And master them perfectly. And that's basically the easiest way to climb compared to just spam every meter champion. But if you're one trick, po well, one, if you're one -trick pony on a meter champion, then it's basically free. Okay, they have a ward. Let's try to clear it. I didn't manage to clear it. Oh, he's going to jump. I smite. This smite went on Wukong. It's so unlucky. It's so unlucky. Perfect gameplay and a miss smite. Yikes. Yikes. I'm not perfect gameplay anymore. On wings of fury. That was actually unfortunate. My smite went onto the Wukong instead of the Nashor. I should have targeted the Baron. So the focus doesn't change. I think he got really low. And that's why um, the targeting of the smite went onto Wukong instead of the Baron. So what I should have done is target lock onto the Baron, so my smite is guaranteed to get uh, hit onto the Baron instead of the Wukong. What you also want to do is combine the abilities. For Shivana, you can use S1 with the smite, so you can um, burst it really quick. Or S3, smite, so you can burn it. 
instead of just smiting with a 920, you can combine it with an ability uh, to do even more damage uh, really quick. So what you could do is like it's 1.1k, you use your S1, auto attack S1 smite and it will do like 1.1k. So that's a way how you can secure the Baron much more safely. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't do it. It's Batman. Okay, 1507, we don't have Baron and that's why we can't really push right now. Like I mean our comp is basically all about diving, Shivana dive, Malfoy dive, Diana dive, we don't have the best siege. So I think we have to wait for the next Baron or for the... Oh actually, TP coming in, we can just go for him. I don't know what this Dar Darius is thinking, but we should be able to kill him. Okay, he dies, Malphite uses ultimate, was not really necessary. And someone should be defending Potland to be honest. Okay, Baron is going to spawn in 30 seconds. Okay, they are chasing Misfortune. I will try to flank from behind. His ultimate, double knockup. Kaisers, oh no, it's Aurelion here. Let's get Aurelion first. Now let's go for Kaiser. Going to smite her, to slow her. Ooh, you can see her because she went invisible. Okay, we get the double kill. And now we should be able to get the Baron buff. Or maybe you just push because because three people are dead. We could also just go for a push. If misfortune comes. I just go for Baron. Do they have vision this time? Nope. Yeah, it's a it's a smite fight again. It's a smite fight again. Okay, Brown is peeling back. He's going to push this Wukong away. That's nice, he's low life, he's not going to try to contest. And this time we can secure it safely. Okay, I'm already max built, I don't even have to go back anymore. Super fat 16010 in a challenger elo level gameplay. To be fair though, the early game was excellent. We got double kill for doing a counter gank and then Three more kills at Dragon, got all the Dragons as well, so obviously, yeah, perfect gameplay minus the Baron being, uh, getting stolen. Okay, that's going to it for the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe. I see you next time. Bye bye.